What's up guys, Seven here back again with another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. So in the last episode, we defeated some Lack um, Lakitus, we fought against Lackluster slash Spike over here, and in turn we got ourselves a new party member. So in today's episode, we are going to utilize his abilities to get further into Flower Fields and see if we can find the Puff Puff Machine and try to destroy it so we can get the um, sun back into the sky. So beforehand, we were over here the last time and I couldn't really do anything because we didn't have a way to get over these spikes. But now that we do have, um, I'm just going to call him Black Lester because that's his real name. Um, we're going to use his ability to get over here to this platform. And then from here, we will continue the puzzle. There we go. To get ourselves higher up on here. We'll go ahead and bring these purple ones down. I think I want to come over here and use it on this red one. Give me your wisdom. Green, purple, and red. The platforms are all different colors. If you jump on them hard, they'll move up and down. We need to figure out the right order to move them in. Why, thank you, Goombario. I thought you would give me a little bit more insight than that. guess I overestimated you, but at least we got to see you again after so long since you have been like in the back of the bus for like the longest time now. Because Perry Carry can't get me over ledges if I'm not evenly perpendicular to them. I honestly feel like I'm just going in circles at this point. Unless I bring green back down over here. Come on, please. Okay. And then bring up this green. Okay, there we go. I think I got it now. Yes. Yes. I got it. I got it. And now I have you. Okay. So, I know last time we didn't really get to fully show off Spike's abilities. So the first one we're going to show off, we're actually going to do Spiny Surge. So, so we can attack all the enemies by throwing spiky eggs. So you want to push back on the left repeatedly, just like how we would attack with Bow. Though it's not that difficult. It does two across the board. Remember, he's still at his base level, so he has not been upgraded once. So that's also something to keep in mind. And I'm going to be lazy and use a Star Storm, because I like attacking a whole group of enemies at a single time to make the best use of my turns, conserve my FP, and my HP. There's seven across the board. Alright, and block. And block. And is he a support or a healer? Oh, he's an electric jerk. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to kill you first. Alright, so the electric guy is not really a big problem because as long as we don't touch him, we'll be fine. So we can use Spidey Flip. So all we have to do is match the cursor to line up onto where the green parts is. And we do damage, and just like that, he's done. Since we haven't touched him, we'll be fine. Or another way you can beat him is if you take out Watts, she will be immune to the electricity since she is made out of electricity, so you don't need to worry about that. We got some four star points. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I did some grinding off screen. Of course, the enemies here don't really give me that much EXP, so I didn't get a whole lot. No. Uh, you are not worth my concern. You can slip in between these bars right over here. Jump on here to get up. And then there's an upgrade block. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. Which party member do you want to upgrade? And we are going to use that on Lack of Lester so he can at least get to super rank. Alright, so yeah, we'll upgrade you. Lack of Lester is upgraded to super rank. Alright, so now he is at least at the base level of everyone else and he has a new ability. So if we come over here across this little log bridge, there's another lack of two over here, but there's also a letter down here. A letter to Mint Tea in Toad Town. 
So we're going to avoid him because I don't really need to fight them at the moment. Another way you can get past here, like, I feel like you can go through there and just fly over with Lackalester, but you can just go through the logs and it'll be just as fine. And if we come over here, talk to them, let's go, come on, we need more clouds, I want to see this land covered. We'll make them fear the power of the Puff Puff Machine. Quit it, leave me alone, man, can't you see I'm busy working right now? Master Huff and Puff is the man with a plan, alright. I mean, I love clouds. Love them, and so covering the world in clouds seems pretty cool to me. How about you? You like clouds? Eat your... That one man, Mario! You guys, it's Mario. We gotta get him before he breaks the Puff Puff machine. Alright, get a little mini-boss fight again. Against three Lakitus and one... Yellow Magic Koopa. Yep, Yellow Magic Koopa. Alright, so... I'm going to do a power bounce on him and try to get as much damage as I can on him. Hopefully get him out in this one run. Uh-huh. 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 There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. So with Cloud9, we create a cloud to hide Mario for a certain amount of time that costs 4 SP. 4 FP. Um... So I already shot this one. I don't really want to use this one right now. I'll probably use this if I use him in the boss fight. I probably will at least once. But we'll go ahead and use spiky eggs on everyone so we can get good damage across the board. Do three to everyone. Oh, I missed that timing. There we go, that's better. And block. Alright, do... I don't have any attacking ones. Oh, this also reminds me, I also found this jam and jelly item. Um, it was over by where we encountered... Um, Rose? Was her name? Nope, nope, Rose is the fancy one. Uh, Lily. This is um, over by the tree where Lily is and her little fountain. It's the tree to the right. Um, if you hit that, this will fall off, and it restores 50 FP. Of course, that's like way more than I have right now, so I'm not, not going to use that until I at least get up to there, or at least round there. And for these guys... I think I can handle a power bounce. Oh my god, never mind. I don't think I can handle a power bounce. Come on, I'll end up a little better. There we go. Fuck. Block. And you want to be a dragon toss yours down. That's perfectly fine with me, I guess. Alright, Black Lester. Go ahead and use another. I should have used a Spidey Surge, honestly, and just use the FP. Because honestly, I'm just about to Star Storm them again. Because this is a good way to spread damage across the whole field and do 7 consistently to everyone. But it takes out three of them, so I only have one left to worry about. As long as he doesn't make another enemy for me to fight, and he's going to. You jack wagon. Okay. So. Oh, I don't have that badge on. Yep, who cares? So, I'm going to finish off the Lakitu. And I'm going to switch Spike for Watt, since she can avoid defenses, and use Electro Dash. Now it's only down to 1 HP. It always goes so fast, especially when it's that close to me. I feel like I don't have enough time to properly react to it. But it's whatever, they're dead. And we get 11 star points, get another closer level up. Ah, retreat boys! He'll beat us, but good! <laughs> look at those chumps run away. Alright, now Mario, we better do something about this puff puff machine, huh? You're absolutely right, Spike Lackluster. I don't know, I keep switching his name. Alright, so all you gotta do is just hit it with your hammer a couple times until it breaks. I say a couple times, but I'm really going to town on this thing. What if I go to the other side? Yeah, there we go. Just switch sides. You want to get even damage across both sides to really break the machine. 
I don't know why turning it off is an option. We need to destroy it. More like Roxas and Kingdom Hearts too. Whoa! The clouds are gone! It's time for a little sunshine! Oh, precious sunlight. Ho 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 ho! Mario did it. He saved flower fields. Oh yes, the sun. Yay, yippee, the sun's back! Oops, <laughs> losing control like that. It's so unlike me. Oh, the bright rays of the sun. Once again, I gaze at the sparkles of light on the water. Oh, it's about time! The sun! Flower fields are saved! I don't know what my light just turned on. <laughs> and of course, the sunlight can only add to my beauty. It's the sun, it's the sun, oh the heat feels so good. Maybe being stuck in one place isn't so bad after all. I feel full of life again. Oh, even the music changes. It's This music is actually a lot more peaceful and I really enjoy it. Let's just enjoy it for a second guys, let it marinate with you. just absolutely wonderful. I love the music in this game. Helping folks feels good. I can get used to this, man. Mario, what are you doing next? I'll follow you anywhere. Glad to hear it, buddy. Glad to hear. So anyway, now that that's all taken care of and the sun's back in the sky, we are actually looking pretty good to actually move on to fight Hufflepuff. So I'm gonna go over here. Just like glide by everyone, not even pay them any mind. Because they're, they're not worth my time. Nope, oh, you guys definitely are not worth my time. Can bypass this all together. And then there are some things I want to take care of real quick before we move on and start doing what we need to do for the boss. So, something that I miss going forward, if we come over to the left hand side, back over to God darn it. All right, so coming back over here, who sucks to be you, pal? Oh, keep going. All right, so back over in Petunia's area, we can actually go further over here to the left-hand side. Or, I'm sorry, right-hand side. Sniffle, sniffle. And we come further in, there's a little well over here. Um, and you have the ability to toss down any of, the, uh, of these berries. We don't really need them anymore, so we might as well toss them down. Sniffle, who's throwing stuff down into my well? Whoever it is, you deserve this for your rudeness. Nope! Okay, I wasn't really expecting that. Let's see what happens if I throw the blueberry down there. Sniffle, who's throwing stuff down into my well? Huh? This is a blueberry. I love these. Thank you. I'll give you this in return. There we go. That's what I wanted. And we get the Flower Sarah Badge. During battle saves 1 FP every time you attack. Alright, so that's what you want to do. You want to toss it down to Blueberry. Toss down any other berry and they'll send out an opponent to attack you. So, there you go. The more you know. Alright, so now we're back. So you, you go to the bottom left side. Ground pound in front of this tree. And there's a star piece over here. So I forgot to mention that in the last few episodes ago. So there goes that. And that brings our total up to 23. So not bad, not bad. Alright guys, so we're now back in Flower Fields. I got myself all healed up. As well as switched out some items and bought some new ones. I got some three Super Shrooms. I got a Vault Shroom. I got a Thunder Rage. I put away the Jam and Jellies. And unfortunately in one of the fights off screen, I did die and end up using one of my Life Shrooms. But that's okay. I don't really need that many to go against Hufflepuff. So now that we're back here, we are going to plant the uh, use the Fertile Soil. Plant the Magical Bean. And then use the Miracle Water. And now that the sun's out to give it proper nutrition, it should sprout into a lovely beanstalk in a matter of seconds. Because that's how plants work.
as it wiggles its way out of the ground in a gymnast ah, gymnastic, a majestic cone. I really, oh my god, I love the ice cream background for the clouds in this. But now we have a way up the cloudy climb. Ho ho, success! Look at that sprout, now you can go to cloudy climb. Best of luck, son. Hmm, my spot seems to be getting less and less sunny. How disappointing. Oh, don't worry, big guy, but before we go up there, we're gonna go ahead and drop a save like we normally do. And then we're gonna hop on the leaf. Hop on this leaf. And we'll make our way up by running on it and it's sliding up like beanstalks are known for doing? Question mark? Oh, uh, who cares? Video game logic. Thankfully, you don't need to do anything. It just takes a little bit to go up the scene, but of course we get to see the clouds again, so can you really mind that much? Alright. Now we're back up here. You can go back down anytime you want by just jumping on that. If we come over here and jump on top of this cloud over here that's rising up and down, as you, little, as you saw in the cutscene over here to the left-hand side, there is something sticking out on here. We just want to switch over to Paracarry. Actually, no, I don't really need Paracarry. I can use Cooper for this. Once we get up to a certain angle... Nope, I lied. Just jump on it and get on there. We got the S Jump Charge badge, so when Supercharged, Mario's jump power goes up by 3. I feel like that's going to be like another 6 badge item. Oh no, it's only 2! Oh! Let's you charge unlimited times, but power fades after attack. Okay, so it's like, um... The where, the power smash one. No, why is it say power smash? The smash charge one. Well, it's a cheap one. It doesn't cost that much. But I'm I'm feeling pretty good with my badge layout that I have right now. I'm gonna switch back to Lackluster because it's his chapter, so I will use him at the beginning of the fight. And if I feel it's necessary, I will switch out to Bell. So, really, there's no more enemies up here. We're just heading straight to the boss. And make our way up a cloudy climb. We're climbing up the clouds. And this looks like the edge of our descent, so there's this little thing sticking out, so what else are we to do than to smack it with our hammer? Smack it with my hammer. Are you a mad are you a man named Mario? And did you or did you not break one puff puff machine? What possessed you to do that? You completely ruined my plan to cover flower fields and clouds. You see, I was going to turn this sunlight blasted place into a cloud clever paradise. But I can't expect a man of your intellect to understand. Is that you, Spike? So, you have betrayed me. You will be punished. I was given this star spirit by King Bowser. I'll never give it up to the likes of you. You will both pay dearly for your crimes. Okay, my light is literally like having a spasm right now turning on and off. It started to like freak me out a little bit. Alright, so this is Huff and Puff, the ch um, boss of chapter number six. So what we are going to do is we want to lead up with, uh, actually no, I don't want to use multi-bounce right away. Instead, I'm going to use chill out to start off the fight to bring his attack power down. You also want to make sure you're using your star spirits. So enemy attack power has gone down. And then I will do a spiky flip and do some dance on him. Oh wow, you got a big old cursor on you, boy. And when you attack him, little um, puffs come out to surround him. Master Heaven Puff, I wish to pummel Mario too. Permission to attack? Yes, take him. Alright, so these guys will just rough you up a bit, but with his attack power down, they're not going to do anything to me. 
but at the end of his at the end of your turn he will suck them back up and essentially regain the health that you took off so basically what you want to do is um, once you get the enemies taken out of him with well, um, one attack for the first guy you want to use your partner or whoever's next to attack the whole rest of them as a group and completely destroy them so that's how you're gonna whittle down this boss's health so I'm gonna do a power bounce and try to get as much out of him as I can and, uh, and, uh, and, uh. All right, not bad, not bad. They all have one HP. And then I'm going to use a spiky surge with Lackluster to have him attack the whole crowd. So not only do we do knock some out, but we also take some away. And we're still invincible, so they're not going to be doing any damage to us. All right, so, oh no. So with this one, we want to get it down as low as we can to get the least amount of damage given to us. Oh, so if I um, if I didn't use Chill Out on him to actually get his attack power down to like zero, that would have done two damage to me since I managed to get it all the way up to uh, the top. All right, so we want to power bounce, hop and puff again. So I get as much out of him as we can. Okay, that one wasn't as good, but you know what? It's fine. We got enough to get rid of the opposition. So Spike, go ahead and clear off some of these clouds, because there's a 50% chance of your death in the future. And we're still invincible, so he's really not going to do anything to us. So we 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 got a good step going on here. And of course, it's going to suck him right back in. All right, so I think next turn. The chill out, the effects of chill out is going to wear off. So let's try to get another good one in. Oh, I, I felt my timing was off, but I still went for it, but that's okay. It's too bad you can't use items when you're um, using your partner. Otherwise, that would be a lot more helpful, because otherwise Mario has to do it the whole time. You asked for it, now you'll witness the full power of my storm. Master Hufflepuff, leave him to me. Oh, still not taking any damage. This is this is perfect. Okay, and this could not have come at a better time because now he's electrified himself, so he cannot be touched with um, regular attacks. Only Watt can really attack him. Or if you were to use um, your Vault Shroom on Mario, you electrify him, so it basically negates it. Or if you have the Zap Tap badge. So what I'm going to do now is activate Chill Out again. Just so I can bring that attack power down so I can protect myself from getting hurt. So enemy's attack power has gone down. And I am going to use a regular spiny flip on him since he can still be hurt by just throwing attacks. And... Yep, these guys still can't hurt me. Get off, fools. And he's going to lose his devastating lightning attack. <laughs> How do you like that? Whoa, Master Hufflepuff, you are truly the mightiest. Alright, so not bad, not bad. Um, I'm just going to do a regular jumping attack. And then I want to use my last four FP to attack the whole group. So I can clear off these guys so he can't suck them back in and regain his health. And it looks like Chill Out. No, no, no. Chill Out didn't wear off yet. Alright, he's going to suck them back in. And that's okay. Only regaining three HP. And we are still sitting pretty. I'm going to go ahead and use a maple syrup on me to recover some FP real quick. Because that's how we do with maple syrup. We just drink it straight from the glass. Like that's normal. And I'm going to use just a regular attack. I'm not going to use any FP. I want to conserve that for my power bounces and my spidey flips. Bo would also be a good choice for this fight like she is for so many fights. 
especially with her fan spec ability. But since his spiky, um, spiny flip only does, or spiky egg, sorry, only does like 4 FP worth to use it, it's a bit more cost effective. To be honest, I think I can just like not do that and I'll be just fine. Alright, so let's go ahead and do a power balance and have him buff again. And if you did notice, he is getting smaller because we are slowly getting rid of all his bits of his body at this point. Okay, that one wasn't a bad one. Spiny Surge. Just rinse and repeat the strategy, folks. I think now he's going to start doing it. Nope, he didn't. Oh, but he is electrifying himself. But now it's gone. I'm, I'm just going to keep doing the same thing, honestly. Use another chill out. Honestly, the first time I played this game, I rarely ever use any of the star spirits except for, like, um, Skolar to use Star Storm. Um, you know what? Instead of attacking him, I'll just use uh, Spike to actually kill off one of the little spum clouds over here so we can't suck them back in. So I can at least permanently kill one of them. Alright, yeah, get off me. Oh, here goes a different one. But it's still the same premise. So far he's only really attacked me twice. Alright, so another maple syrup on me. And if I do it right, the next turn should be my last one. And Spike, use that on Tough Puff. Now let's knock this guy out. Oh, you can go ahead and try to do a Body Slam on us now. Since he's down to this form, it's really not going to do much of anything. In fact, he hasn't really done much of anything to us this whole time. Not bad, not bad. And going thin the herd. And with that, that is the end of Huff and Puff, and we get 32 star points. And with that, we get another level up, and we're going to use that on our FP. No, I cannot lose. Oh, but you can, Huff and Puff. You can indeed lose. And with that, we have saved yet another star spirit from Bowser. End of chapter. So it is that Mario and Party defeated Cruel Cloud, Huff and Puff, and set free the Sixth Star Spirit. The thick clouds that once cast dark shadows have gone, and Flower Fields is bathed in sunlight again. As a single Star Spirit awaits to be rescued, waits to take its place in the Star Sanctuary. Perhaps you will see Princess Peach soon. Perhaps. Just wait and see. Kami Koopa, who watches impatiently from Bowser's castle, is waiting too. For you to try to save them. Alright guys, let's save and continue. We'll go ahead and get back off to where we have a good, plot, ah, good place to save and we'll end off the episode there. Hey Twink, you know the sneaky parasol I got on this quiz show? I can change it to someone else when I use it, right? So don't you think I can use it to get out of here? Yeah, I bet you can. Why don't you try it out? Press B while facing whoever it is you want to transform into. Alright, and I think that will be a good spot to end off. So, 
thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64, and I will see you guys in the next episode where we take on the Peach interlude and do some other things outside of getting ready for the next chapter. So, if you guys liked the video, give the video a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff I normally say at the end of these videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So take care everyone!